Good morning, guys. Today we're going to talk about birds. Big birds! The news that we have today comes out of Antarctica. Some researchers were digging around there and they found some fossils of birds that are enormous. Biggest birds we've ever found. How big do birds get? Well, hummingbirds are small, right? Hummingbird could fit in the palm of your hand. The smallest hummingbird is called the bee hummingbird. It's only two and a half inches long, so it would just be a little bit itty bitty tiny thing. The nest for these is about the size of a quarter. This week we found evidence of the largest bird ever. There was a study published for some researchers that were digging up bones in Antarctica and they found a fossil of a jawbone and a foot bone. And they know based on the fact that these are clearly pelagothornid fossils. And they know the size of various pelagothornids that they found around the world. Now they're scaling that up. They're saying, okay, well, if this is the size of this and this is the size of this, well, then the size of this bird had to have had a 20-foot wingspan. That's huge. The largest living bird today, that the largest wingspan, is the wandering albatross, which is only 11 feet wide. But both, both these creatures are wandering over the ocean. They have sharp tooth, bony, bony jaws that are able to snatch up fish from the ocean. They're able to stay at sea for months at a time because they have everything that they need out there and they're excellent flyers with low energy exertion. As they, as they flap their wings. Let's dispel some myths about Antarctica. You might be thinking, how did they find fossils in Antarctica when it's all covered in ice? Well, it's not all covered in ice. Only 97% of it's covered in ice. The rest of it, around the edges, especially near South America, right around here is where they found the fossils. This, is, this area here is closest to South America. It's still cold, but it's not frozen over. And as our climate is warming, more and more of Antarctica's ice is melting away and we're getting at fossils that are on the ground below. We are finding fossils of all kinds of things that you wouldn't imagine would normally be there. We found fossils of frogs, fossils of marsupials, we found fossils of ferns. Ferns are warm climate organisms. These are plants that like to live in tropical areas. Now, the time period that all these fossils date back to is about 55 million years ago, which was around the time of the Paleocene-Eocene thermal maximum. This was one of the warmest periods in recent Earth history. And this is something that the temperature of the oceans was around 68 degrees. The temperature of life on land, 60 degrees. As comparison, right now the average global temperature is about 57 degrees Fahrenheit. Since then we've had a lot more cooler climate times and the ice has grown in great layers on Antarctica. But because our climate is warming again, that ice is melting and we're going to have more reveals of other fossil features and landform features that we have no idea about. That's it for today guys. Have a great day.